Ladies and gentlemen, when thinking about the Nintendo Switch, if I asked you what the most impressive Switch games are, you would probably just mention the major ones like Mario or Metroid or Pokemon or something like that, but that's just not the case. In this video, we are going to go over the top 10 most impressive Nintendo Switch games of all time. Let's just go and get right into it. So how am I making this list? Like what qualifies a game to be impressive on the Switch? What I'm doing is I'm finding games that feel like they could be on either Xbox or PlayStation consoles. These are all games that feel like they shouldn't even be on the Switch. They just look too good. They're too powerful. They're too impressive. Before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the most impressive Switch games, pretty much of all time. The first game we're talking about today is Nier Automata, the end of Yorha edition. This is actually the game that inspired this entire list. When this game was first announced for the Switch, I seen a bunch of people were excited for it, but I didn't even know what it was. And once it came out, everybody was saying, oh my god, it's so impressive. This is probably the best port that ever was on the Switch. Me and myself, I kind of wait a little bit when games come out, and I'll admit, I waited a long time for this one, and I just beat this a few days ago, and all I could say is, oh my god, holy crap, how is this even freaking possible on the Switch? This literally feels like something that would be on the next Nintendo console. Like while I was playing it, I would have to remind myself that I was playing it on the Switch. Not only is this one of the best looking and running and playing games ever on the Switch, it's one of the best RPGs I've ever freaking played. This game truly had me addicted from the moment I started playing it to the moment I was finished. And what's really cool about this game is depending on what you do in the game will affect the ending. And there's also multiple endings and multiple playthroughs and it just keeps it so fresh. But this truly is a definition of an impressive Switch game. The next game we're talking about today is Doom Eternal. You probably know what Doom is, right? This franchise has been out for multiple decades. Doom and Doom Eternal easily could make this list, but I'm gonna go with Doom Eternal because it's the newest one. Again, you have to remind yourself that you're playing the Nintendo Switch while you're playing this game. It truly looks and feels like you're playing on the PS4 or Xbox. It's so damn impressive. It looks so freaking good and it's so fast paced and somehow the frame rate is perfect and I, I truly don't know how we get games like this that run amazingly and then we have other stuff that we're like, oh, no matter what, this is gonna work. And then it's at like five frames per second. I'm not calling out any games right now because that would take a whole hour long video in itself. But just know whatever game you're thinking about in your mind right now, that will work. Hell's armies have invaded Earth in this game. And the only thing they fear is you. Do I really need to say more? Probably not. So when thinking of the graphics for the next Nintendo console, Currently dubbed a Switch 2, I'm still holding out for Super Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch Advance. I kind of like that one as well. This next game we're going to talk about feels like it could be a graphical demo for that console. Except it's on the Switch. And the game I'm talking about is called The Tourist. You are just arriving at the Monument Islands. Do you want to go swimming? Or rather take a dive into the deep sea? Or do you want to visit an amusement park arcade? do some shopping, or will you talk with the strange old tourist and listen to what he has to say about these ancient mysterious monuments? Yeah, that's probably the choice I would go with. This truly looks so freaking beautiful. This feels like next-gen gaming. And a fun fact about this game is it runs at 60 FPS, and it just shows you all the things the Switch could do, giving the time and effort that goes into it. There's multiple times in this game where if you have a real human heart and a soul, then you will just stop and say, holy crap, this is absolutely beautiful. And like I've already mentioned, it feels like something that would be on the next Nintendo console. And it truly is just so damn impressive. So now let's talk about Persona 5 Royal. Persona 5 is arguably the best Persona game of all time. It looks so damn good. It is the standard for amazing RPGs. And it just has some of the best vibrant graphics I've ever seen in any game. It's just such an impressive game that when this was announced for the Switch, I was like, yeah, I mean, I can see it running on the Switch, but running well, well, that's a different story. It turns out it's just as good as it is on any other console. This is another game that while you're playing it, if you're not conscious of what you're doing and you've already played it on other consoles, you might have to remind yourself that you're actually playing it on the little old rinky dink Nintendo Switch. And all things considered, this game came out pretty late in the Nintendo Switch's life. Forced to transfer to a high school in Tokyo, the protagonist has a strange dream. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, ruin awaits you. 
The Persona series was long overdue on the Switch, and if this can run this great on the Switch, I'm like 100% sure that we can get Persona 3 Reload as well, and it really does go to show you how impressive the Nintendo Switch can actually be sometimes. So another game that feels like it just came from another console, like a PS4 or maybe even a PS5, is Astral Chain. If you know anything about Platinum games, you know how many amazing franchises they've made, and Astral Chain is a newer franchise, but something I hope to see for a very long time. The few survivors of a massive global disaster gather together in a futuristic megacity. Now it's your job to protect them against otherworldly invaders, but you're not alone as a member of the Special Police Task Force, and to save the world, you must investigate its dark side. And this game truly checks every box for me, and it's just crazy that something like this can run so damn well on the Switch. It's so impressive from top to bottom, from the gameplay to the graphics, and I've already said it once but I'll say it again. This truly feels like something that shouldn't even be on the Switch. But it is, and I'm very thankful for that. So for the longest time, The Witcher 3 was dubbed the impossible port on the Switch, and while it is impressive that it runs on the Switch, it doesn't look that good, and I may get hate for that, but it's not making this list, I'm just sorry. And what I find to be the actual impossible port, like how the hell does this game run so good and look so good on the Switch? I'm talking about No Man's Sky. In my opinion, No Man's Sky was a very polarizing event in the gaming world. I feel like it was like one of the first modern games that came out way too early, kind of finessed people into thinking it was something that it wasn't. I remember when the guy was going on all the talk shows and being like, oh my god, you can do everything. The game never ends. There's a quadrillion planets. You can never run out of stuff to do. And while you could go to all those planets, there was nothing going on. So they got to work and what No Man's Sky is now is a masterpiece. Now it's almost unrecognizable to the game that it was. On top of all of that, it looks and runs amazing on the Switch. When this game was announced for the Switch, I was like, okay, I think I can see what they're doing here. They're gonna definitely cut some corners. It's gonna be the cloud version, but it technically will be on the Switch. And I guess that's a feat in itself. And it turns out they didn't cut any corners and it's not the cloud version. And I kind of think this game went under the radar on the Switch. I think the Switch is the perfect place to pick this up. And I think playing it handheld kind of adds to the whole charm. Like imagine having the entire universe in the palm of your hands. Yeah, that's what you're getting with No Man's Sky on the Switch. So Elden Ring came and it took over the world and people were like, oh man, that'd be so crazy to have on the Switch. But I don't even think a lot of people realize we have Dark Souls on the Switch. Dark Souls Remastered is a fantastic Switch game. Dive into an epic dark fantasy universe stricken by the curse. Explore a world full of hidden passages, dungeons, and secrets. If you've ever wanted to get into Dark Souls and you don't know where to start, or you think the game may or may not be for you, I'd say give it a chance and pick it up on the Switch, man. You're going on an extraordinary adventure, and you can do this in handheld, and you really won't lose anything by going this route. Dark Souls in itself is an impressive game, and so many games were influenced by it. One day I was looking up Switch games, and I found a list that had Dark Souls on it, and I was like, that can't be right. And then I kept seeing Dark Souls on other lists, and then I looked up footage for it. I truly was in awe that this was even possible. And I'd argue that any fan of action games, or RPGs, or just fun adventures definitely needs to check out Dark Souls on the Switch. So one of my favorite games of all time on the Switch is Wolfenstein 2. So much that I beat this entire game like two or three times. Not only is it one of the best shooting games on the Switch, in my opinion, it's one of the most impressive games on the Switch, and it looks so freaking good. And when people talk about the best looking Switch games ever, for some reason this game never makes those lists, but that's doing it a disservice because it looks so damn good. This is another game while you're playing it. You have to remind yourself that you're playing it on the Switch because it doesn't even look like the Switch version. One of the coolest things about this game, and I'm not sure what the reason is, but this game always goes on sale on eShop sales for only like $6 every single time, $5.99. So for less than $10, not only are you going to get to play one of the best shooting games on the Switch, one of the best looking games on the Switch, but one of the most impressive Switch games of all time. I don't even know how I could possibly make this list without putting Tears of the Kingdom on it. Although I prefer Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom, the fact that you can do all the crazy shit in Tears of the Kingdom that you can do and the Switch just doesn't explode is kind of a modern marvel. And I've seen some interviews of the creators of The Legend of Zelda saying that they kept tweaking it over and over and over because they would get so far and then they would just do one minor thing and it would like break the game. So they just kept polishing it for I think a year or two 
to get it to the point to where it came out. And while I have a couple personal issues with the game, it's just impressive. Like, I don't know how they're ever going to do more than that to a Zelda game, and I don't even think they need to. I think this shows how far that they could have taken it. The fact that this was on the Switch and not the next Nintendo console speaks for itself. Like, we have to remember Breath of the Wild was technically a Wii U game that came out on the Wii U and the Switch. This is the big Nintendo Switch Zelda game. So whatever comes for the next Nintendo console, I can't even imagine. And yeah, man, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom easily made this list and is easily one of the most impressive games of all time from any console. I truly went over so many lists and videos and game footage to make this list, and the 10th and final spot was quite hard to pick. But the game that I'm picking for the 10th and final spot is Alien Isolation. Survive heart-pounding horror as you're relentlessly hunted through a desolate space station. When she left Earth, Ellen promised her daughter she would return home to celebrate her 11th birthday, but she never made it. 15 years later, Amanda learns that the flight recorder from her mother's ship has been recovered. It's up to you to engage in a terrifying quest for survival. This is a pretty creepy game that's full of suspense, and maybe you'll be too nervous to notice it, but when you stop and look, it really is one of the most impressive Switch games, and it easily falls under that category of, am I playing this on the Switch or another console? A lot of the games in this list did just that. You could put these on other consoles, and you wouldn't think twice about it. But as soon as you're playing them on the Switch, you're like, are you sure you're playing this on the Switch? Am I not just watching gameplay of this on YouTube or something? Because it just feels like it shouldn't be on the console. Not only is the gameplay great and the game looks fantastic, but the story in this one is really solid. And uh, this is an underrated game on the Switch in my opinion. You can pick up this game full price for only like 20 bucks or something. And I truly think that's a steal for what you're getting here. Because when we break it down, what are you getting? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting an impressive Nintendo Switch game. This was a very hard list for me to make. Like I said, I, I went through so many lists and games and gameplay footage and just so much stuff that I think this is a solid top 10 list of what the most impressive Switch games of all time are. Down below, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear what you think are the most impressive Nintendo Switch games. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you could. I would really appreciate a follow on both platforms. And you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.